definitely peace in our time, peace in all time. What I remember was that it was an extremely important speech. In my judgment, even looking back upon it now, I think it's the best speech he ever gave. I had just come from three years serving as the CBS Moscow correspondent, and they set up a new job for me called diplomatic correspondent here in Washington. So my job really was to try to explain this tension and potential conflict between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. We had just emerged from the Cuban Missile Crisis. Everybody had been scared to death that we were going to have a nuclear war. We emerged from that to do what? The speech represented Kennedy's way of taking the world beyond the Cuban Missile Crisis into a new era by beginning with that speech the entire process of arms control, of trying to contain the arms race, of trying to put constraints on nuclear weapons. And also he announced that there would be an American decision to stop atmospheric nuclear testing. It was a huge thing. In those days, as much as today, but I think even more so, the word of a president of the United States was big stuff. So the speech was regarded as a big deal. And it was regarded uh, as a big deal, not only in the US, but all over the world. Well, I think students would recognize that the world is a pretty dangerous place now as it was back then. Back then, the issue was how well does the United States and the Soviet Union get along? The issue today is different and it has to do largely with the position of the United States in the midst of an enormous revolutionary change all over the world. In the Kennedy speech, he spoke about peace. The president today also speaks about peace. The questions and the issues are the same. How do you maintain good relations with your enemy? How can you have peace?